G'day and welcome to another three minute histology with Jamie Chapman. Today we're going to be looking at the small intestine. Uh, so let's start the timer. So the thing that really sticks out from this section here are these finger like projections. And of course these are villi. These are extensions of the mucosa. So we've got this big purple or basophilic band representing the epithelium. So we've got our lining epithelium, we've got our glands, and then the paler region here which is the submucosa, and then this very acidophilic band on the outside which is our tunica muscularis. It consists of two layers, an inner circular and an outer longitudinal layer. So if we zoom in a little bit and have a look at a bit finer detail of the mucosa, we can see these projections. And these, of course, are villi. And they increase surface area for absorption in this region. We keep zooming in. We can see the structure of these villi. It's lined by a simple columnar epithelium. So here's the nucleus and here's the cytoplasm. This very acidophilic top here, this is what we call the brush border. And these represent the microvilli on the surface of these absorptive tills. So this is a simple columnar epithelium and it's got microvilli on the surface. Another common cell type found within this epithelium are the goblet cells. And they're characterized by having these round unstained regions and that's because mucus is a highly glycosylated glycoprotein which doesn't interact with the stain so it actually looks like it's unstained. There's another nice one here. So these are the little soldiers in a row represent the nuclei of the enterocyte so they're the cells responsible for most of the absorption within the small intestine and then whatever they absorb is usually passed into the underlying loose connective tissue or lamina propria. So these different cell types all belong to different cell types within the loose connective tissue. So we've got some smooth muscle cells, we've got some lymphocytes, and we've got various immune cells found within this region as well. And of course we've got our capillaries and uh, lacteals which receive the fats being absorbed in this area. So if we scoot down, follow this um, villus towards the, the base, we can see it sort of extends down into these circular profiles. These are actually intestinal glands or what we call crypts of Lieberkuhn. There's another nice one looking down here. So they extend right down to the base here. And so these are the base of the intestinal crypts. And these little very dark chromatin profiles are evidence of mitosis taking place at the base of these crypts. So the cells which we find on the surface of the villi actually originate through mitosis in the here, then they migrate their way up onto the surface via the intestinal glands or the crypts of Lieberkuhn and eventually make their way onto the surface where they're eventually shed. Other features, just in the last 16 seconds, uh, if we zoom in we can see the muscularis mucosa here. We've got the dense irregular connective tissue of our submucosa. Here's our muscularis with the inner circular and then outer longitudinal layer. And there'd be a serosa on the outside. Okay, thanks for listening.